Ben, welcome. How is Gen AI impacting the role of insight professionals? Well, in a, it's, it's like another tool. In a, it's letting you do things much faster. It's letting you be more creative. Uh, it's giving you new opportunities that simply didn't exist before because you can mine huge amounts of data in a few seconds in a way that was just not possible before it arrived. What is your approach to Gen AI at Ipsos? So what we're doing is uh, we see it as a combination of human intelligence and artificial intelligence. And so we're working on improving our speed and productivity overall, but we're also building new products and services for our clients like Inno Explorer, uh, which lets you look at innovations in a completely different way. So it's both more creativity, but also just getting things done faster. Interesting you're saying still human intelligence absolutely and lots of creativity some things that people don't normally associate when we talk about gen ai and ai and technological advances well i think there is a risk of sort of dulling down to the average and you know there are some signs for example i mean we're here in Cannes and looking at advertising for example one thing that we can see is that over the last six or seven years there's less and less use of humor in advertising, which is a shame because actually it's one of the things that makes it memorable. And actually what we found is that AI isn't very good at spotting people doing humor. It can sort of tell that something's entertaining, but it can't really tell how, how good, how funny something might be yet. Yet, yet indeed, quite. What are you most excited for then? talking about the future for AI Gen AI at Ipsos? Well, I think it's, I mean, it's generally just improving as a, as a financial company, as a commercial business, it's generally improving productivity and letting people get things done faster, taking the slog away to let them spend more time thinking about clients. But I think we can see a future where actually we start to see the use of synthetic data, and that's really exciting, but you need to be very careful about that and smoke but not always inhale. How, interesting. How are, you, how are you making sure that you don't fall into the potential traps? Well, we use three principles. So, um, you know, we, we want truth, transparency and justice. So in other words, if you take justice, is it just reinforcing existing biases? You know, if you ask AI in many, in many of the models now to tell you, you know, what a chief executive looks like, it's probably going to look more like me than like you, for example. Um, is it transparent? We have to know how it works, because if it's just black box, then there's some problems. So we need to know exactly how it's working. And uh, finally, of course, we need to make sure that it's not hallucinating, which again is a, can be a problem. Ben, thank you so much for Pleasure. your time. Pleasure.